Okay, I'm going to do Gemini singles one more time because that was a, a partnership. <laughs> I'm trying to do all sign singles. Okay, all right. Let's see. Gemini. Tonight, we're doing. Let's see. All right, you're letting go of the work thing and you're going to engage and have fun and whatever pain you've been through, you're going to release all that. Woo! Okay, so you're going to go back towards your work with more passion now in the new year. I like it. Okay, so, and love, whatever it is, finances, okay. You're going to take a break from it tonight and move towards, for some of you, a fire sign. The suggestion is to give the offer, even if you feel like you're going to be rejected. That's the message. Okay. All right, now for some of you, you want to stay at home and work on healing, and that could be that Virgo moon energy, even though that says it's star card. Yeah. All right. So I want to say get out there. Okay, so you could spend time glamming yourself up. Then you would feel like you had the courage to go towards something uh, and at least get out in the night if not having a gathering at home with a few people okay but message that's the key page of cups all right now for some some of you um again the message of children is coming out it's like maybe the three of cups for some of you is like hanging out with your kids and that's your happy place okay Yeah, you know what I'm getting these as? Those New Year poppy things. You, like, pop them open and it has a message in it. Okay, those things. Okay. If you're... Uh, if you broke up with somebody, I feel like you're going to want to get out. That would be more comforting to you. So, let go of work and get out there. All right, that's the message for Gemini. Just for tonight, that's what this reading is. Okay, just for tonight. Okay, now we're on Cancer. Woo! Cancer, singles, all signs singles, tonight. Okay, so whatever this battle was, whether it be an internal or external uh, battle, you've been trying to balance everything. All right, now, what about that? Yeah, this Libra energy is popping up. Okay, so you could be harnessing that Aries energy and something caused you to jump in that Libra energy from that energy. All right, now, let's see. Some of you... Last year, you had legal battles having to do with things, and kids were popping up in the other readings, so could be even kid stuff, and you might have even felt like your partner was trying to get away with something. All right, now, if you're an earth sign that's here, and you were with a Libra, they are busy battling something in their mind or in even in the physical world, and... Um, you saw them as trying to sneak away from you, but that wasn't. They were just busy. See, they have lots of regrets. They've been hiding. All right, so that's one story. They're trying to heal. Okay. Now, for some of you, this is, they're trying to feel, well, you're trying to feel confident, confident again in love to actually approach again and if one-on-one -on -one seems too intimidating right you can go in a group setting okay that's what i'm getting all right now for some of you you have three key people that you love and so you're trying to decide who you're going to spend time with okay
I think you're going to message a water sign for someone. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Water with air energy, so someone you had kids with. Could be a Pisces. Okay. See, what I'm getting is the Cancer doesn't really want to be tied down. Um, it's like, oh, okay. <sighs> they like the idea of, like, the white picket fence and, you know, marriage, long-term marriage and... Uh, creature comforts and home and security and all that but um, whoever this cancer is hasn't been practicing that it's been going all over the place okay and that could have been uh, caused the Pisces to think twice about you and not want to work on it or saw you as work is more important than them but they couldn't let go for some of you, that's the Pluto energy, that your polar opposite sign. And so those were all like entanglements that you're trying to work through. Could be like three people, three lovers for some of you. Okay. And why am I getting Taurus energy again? I have a sword. But what on both sides, they're not revealing that there was pain there. And even could have felt like a little bit of betrayal there. On the female side, they're still passionate about you. Even if they're not confident about the relationship. And... For someone, they weren't happy because you didn't offer a ring. And that caused them not to want to work on it with you. But the spark is still there. The love is there. And they see you as a passionate person. And they have passion for you. Oh, that's a match. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so if it's a if it's a Taurus, they're a go-getter. This is the card that represents them, a female. I feel like this represents the Orion energy and the gallivanting around with several people. That's for someone with the Pluto um, polar opposite energy. Okay. A lot of games were played on both sides. Yeah, it caused pain on both sides. That's what I keep getting. And if they felt like they didn't have luck with you. It even brought in some tower moments. That could represent the Pluto energy again. Okay. And then... Bam, that came out. The cool, uh, not showing the love energy. All right, so what about tonight? <laughs> it's like, lately it seems like they want to give the whole backstory. And I'm like, can you just give me, <laughs> can you please just give me tonight? <laughs> All right, so uh, cancer, let's see. Okay, so with all that, you may just want to have solitude with the Virgo moon. Calm down, listen your inner voice, reduce anxiety. Just staying home might be, uh, love, give me strength, and strength shall help afford. Okay, Act 4, Scene 1. This is Romeo and Juliet, I think. Okay, all right, let's see. Fire Lawrence, wise, trustworthy, caring, and optimistic is who you want to go towards. Whoever that represents, that's the energy you want. Okay. Wisely and slow, they stumble that run fast. So it could be a water or earth sign.
Okay, so yeah, Patience came up for Aries, and it came up for Taurus, too. Okay, so um, there, you know, it's like a, a quiet restraint kind of energy. It's like, you know, there's a lot of passion there, but it's like a restraint or like holding it, you know, and you want to unleash that. <laughs> All right, Cancer. Woo! <laughs> okay, so some of you may just want to stay home and do um, dream work. Okay, so oracle reveal and symbolize prophecy and hint. Okay, so let me get one more on that. Oh, do I have those other? Um... See, established contact, invitation, and fellowship. So I feel like you're going to be getting. Okay, so this is the suggestion. Okay. Um, get quiet near a body of water or even like, um, could be like a, um, just soak in a tub or something and then, uh, engage in connecting. I feel like that would be satisfying and it could lead to something else. Woo. Okay. Now, for some of you, if you didn't offer marriage to someone, I feel like, here's the friar, uh, I feel like um, you were considering it. For by your leaves you shall not stay alone, till Holy Church incorporate two in one. Now, if it's a Taurus or someone who harnesses that energy, it may be someone or a Scorpio. It might be some, might be an unconventional connection and might seem a little odd to other people, but uh, I feel like it would be your safe spot, protection, kindness, and undertake. So it could have been some sort of nurturing energy that you connected with them because they were nurturing and just what you wanted you just couldn't get yourself to give a commitment yeah see this is coming out apothecary could be a virgo energy they might have virgo in their chart or pisces and then um that's that pluto energy my poverty but not uh, but not my will consents you know what I'm getting? I'm getting someone, a cancer, got together with someone who didn't have that much money. But they had so much more to offer. Okay. Any one more? And they felt like you were keeping too many secrets. For this alliance may so happy prove to turn your household's rancor to pure love. That's what they have for you, though. Yeah, it's someone who was clear about you, even if you weren't clear about them. And uh, they were consoling kind of energy, and you like that. And that's how it ended up getting into a deeper connection for someone. Okay, and Juliet, inner strength and independence. Okay. Now, for some of you who are single and have no one, you want to go towards someone who is an independent person and who is financially stable all on their own. And that would be the place to move this new connection. I'll leave you with that. <laughs> 